talk about how to set and reach your goals. And this is just kind of a formula that I've developed and a formula I've used all my life. You can use this for fitness goals, but you can also, I'll give you some examples of how you can use it for business. If you own your own business or uh, you can apply these to your career goals, you can apply this formula to any type of goal that you want to set. So first I'll give you some examples of uh, fitness goals, how to reach them, how to set them. And then I'll give you a couple of really, you know, well, a quick example of how to set it if you're in sales or if you um, have a business and you want to increase your revenue or whatever you want your goal to be. So first of all, this is what I tell people with a goal. The first thing that the goal has to have is a timeline. If the goal does not have a timeline, it's just a dream floating out there. If you don't put a time limit on when you want to accomplish that goal, it's just going to be a dream floating out in nowhere land. It's just a dream. The second thing a goal has to have is a plan. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have a way to reach that goal, it becomes just a dream out there that's never going to be accomplished. You can dream about it all your life, but you'll never get there if you don't have a plan and a timeline. So those components are, in, are important. When I set a goal, I like to work backwards. So I set the goal. Now I need to determine, is that goal realistic? Is that goal um, attainable? Can I get there? Is it possible? Or is it just pie in the sky? Because if it's pie in the sky, I mean, you might improve and do better and get close to the goal, but you won't hit it. So the way I try to analyze if it's practical is I work backwards. So let's say we're talking about fitness. And you could do this with weight or whatever, but the three components of the goal are you set the goal and then you're going to have objectives. You need to attain or reach each objective on the way within that time frame to reach your goal. So now I'm going to set the goal and let's say I can bench press 200 pounds. And my goal is I want to get to 220 pounds. And I'm just using this as an example. It can be any exercise or whatever, or it could be a weight loss or whatever. But you need to figure out the components that are going to get you to your goal. So let's just say I want to bench press 220 pounds. I'm going to have objectives. The goal is 220 pounds, 10 weeks away. And I can bench press 200 pounds right now. So now I need to set objectives. And my objectives in this case are going to be to, I'm going to work off a percentage of that 220. So I'm going to work off, say, 70% of that 220. So I'm going to uh, multiply the 220 by 70%. And I'm going to try to do 10 repetitions. I'm going to work out so many days a week. and But I'm going to try... One of my objectives is going to be to do 70% of that projected goal 10 times for so many um, sets. And when I'm at, um, and, I'm, and I'm going to do this throughout the 10 week period each week. So the next objective is maybe I want to do 85% of that projected goal five times. Maybe I want to do 90% of that projected goal two times. So I'm setting up the objectives. Now, the tasks in this case are to actually go do the task, which is working out. If it's business and you're trying to make so many sales, it, the tasks would be, I have to make 10 phone calls every day. That's a task. And the tasks are the most important in reaching your goal. Because if you don't do the tasks, if you don't go into the gym and do the repetitions, then 
you're never going to reach your goal. You're not going to hit any of the objectives and you're not going to reach your goal at all. You're not going to come close. You're going to go backwards. Same thing. If you're trying to lose 20 pounds, maybe you're trying to lose 20 pounds in three months. Maybe that's your time frame, And this is going to vary for everyone. Some people, there's no way you can lose 20 pounds in three months. Um, I can't, I wouldn't want to, I would be even skinnier. So that's the goal, three, mo three months and to lose 20 pounds. So now you, you figure out the objectives. Okay, I have to eat certain types of foods. I need to be in a calorie range. Whatever your objectives are to do daily, your tasks are done daily, weekly, and monthly. So maybe you're going to do this particular task twice a month. Another one, maybe you're going to do once a week. Other tasks you're going to do daily. And you figure if I do these tasks that I'm supposed to do, my daily tasks that I've created for myself, and my weekly tasks, and my monthly tasks, you are probably going to hit your goal. And if you don't hit it the first time, you're almost for sure going to hit it the second time you try because you're going to be able to manipulate and change uh, the objectives and the tasks, mostly the task, because the tasks are going to get you to your objectives. So you have to have the discipline to do the tasks. If you don't do the tasks, then it's not going to work. Now, let's give an example of how you would do that in business. Let's say I want to increase my revenue by so much in your personal business or in, in, in your career. You want, to have a, you want to accomplish something. And, and every big corporation that's even worth its salt at all, they have an infrastructure. And they have for sure timelines. They can't just, they're never going to say, okay, I want this project done and there's no timeline. You can be working on the project for the rest of your life. So projects have timelines also. And the goal is to complete it uh, satisfactorily to maybe for your boss or, or whoever you're working for. Maybe yourself, hopefully yourself. I, I encourage people to have their own businesses. So you're going to do the same thing. You got your goal. You're going to create the objectives. And hopefully you know enough about your career, about your business to know if I reach these objectives, this one, and then this one, and then this one, I'm going to hit my goal. But you still have to have the discipline <clears throat> to do the tasks. I'm going to get up at 8 o'clock every morning, and I'm going to do my morning routine or whatever it is. Those are tasks. I need to get this done every Wednesday. And I need to get uh, two more things done this week. So you've got your daily tasks, your weekly tasks, your monthly tasks to accomplish your objectives. Now, if you're, if you're disciplined enough to do those tasks, you're going to reach the objectives that you have set in that time frame. And now you're going to know, hey, I'm on track. You can monitor yourself. I'm on track to reach my goal in the allotted time frame. So that's just something that I've created for my own businesses. Um, and it, it's worked for me. You can modify it. But the main thing I want to emphasize with a goal whether you're trying to lose weight or get stronger or improve your business, you have to have a time frame and you have to have a plan. If you don't have a plan, how are you ever going to reach that goal? No matter what it is, you got to have a plan. And you know what? Your plan might not work the second time or the first time, but it might work the second time. If not, it might work the third time. So you have to keep trying and maybe sometimes you have to adjust that plan to get to your goal and don't give up. And it takes discipline. I just see too many people that say, you know, I'm setting a goal and this is what it is. And it's like, okay, what are you doing about it? 
you're just going to sit there and have a goal? Well, that's ridiculous. Anyway, that's what I do. Um, what I do on this channel is I, I try to relate health and fitness tips that work for me, things that I do. Um, I'm not trying to say that it's going to work for everyone, but if I'm, I've been able to stay fit all my life since I was a teenager and things have really changed for me. What I did when I was a teenager, what I did in my twenties is way different than what I do now in my sixties. So if you're interested in uh, just learning the things that I do to stay fit and my opinion on what works for me, um, follow the channel, subscribe to the channel and give us a like, uh, turn on the little bell. So, you know, when we put up more, um, content, I do interviews with uh, personal trainers, with a lot of staff members, uh, at our gyms. And I, I do interviews with doctors and nutritionists. So, um, that's what we do, and I will see you next time.